Hey planner friends, it's Nia. Welcome to Life with Nia. Today we are going to stuff our cash envelopes for August. Um, we're going to do $801 and because I am tired and I just spent six hours printing stickers and cutting stickers for sticker books. Um, I don't, I can't, like there's a pile of stuff on my um, tray, like my, my cash tray. So we're just going to um, <laughs> work with, I have my cash here. I went to the bank, um, just in a little pocket. And we're just going to roll with it. So let's see, make sure we have 801. So there's 100. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, two hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, three hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, four hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, five hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty. Okay, so five eighty. Five ninety six hundred. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 700. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy. 80. All right, so 780. I need all my bills the same direction. All right, somehow I feel like this might be wrong. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 801. Okay, we're good. All right, so this month, um, so I'm using my cash envelope breakdown, which is um, how I determine what denomination I want to receive from the bank. This is from um, the Budget Mom. I've got it covered up, but this is the Budget Mom's box set, um, Budget by Paycheck Method. And um, I've got my info here. This is where I'm going to write down what's actually going in here for each category. And our pen where's our calculator okay we're good okay so i am going to go in the order of my um the, my first envelope my first wallet that i'm going to use um where i'm going to store some of these these are like cash envelope slash sinking funds some of them are are variable expenses that we go through every month like groceries some of them are more long-term savings like um costco or sam's club membership so we're just going to go in the order that they are in here. So the first one is for the P.O. Box, and we're going to be adding $20 to the P.O. Box. So, um, and I'm probably going to put this video up on the 31st, but I'm writing down August 1st for everything, okay? Just work with me here. So we're adding 20 and that should give us 40 here. So yeah, there's 20 in there. So now we have 40. Okay, Sam's Club membership is getting $10. There should be 30 in here. So that will bring us to 40. So 
20, 30, 40. Next is Costco membership, which is getting $10. And there should be 40 in this one. So that should bring us to 50. Next is bulk shopping, which is getting $60, and I'm getting really close to needing to replace this envelope. So there should be $184 in here. We're adding $60, and listen, it's late, so we need a calculator because we can't be doing math. So that should give us $244. Make sure this is 244 now. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. Okay, so we have 244. I think when I go get these medicine, I might go to Costco shopping. Okay, next clothing. Clothing is getting $10. And there's 40 in here, so that should bring us to 50. Canva. Canva has 40 right now. It is getting $10. And that will bring us to 50. So there's Canva. Next, um, business expenses. So we are going to um, $31, which is, there's nothing in here right now, which is um, basically my telework stipend. So there is 31, 20, 31. Petey is going to basically get a wash this month. We're not going to put anything extra. He's got 220 right now. We are going to add $60, which will basically cover his medicine. So that should bring us to 280 Petey. Petey. I'll hear him. He's a mess. All right, so we have twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, two, twenty, forty, sixty. 70, 80, so 280. You hear him coughing? That's part of his whole thing. And sometimes he coughs and throws up, so that's real fun. Um, pet 60. P. 
Petey's like, you talking about my envelope, you're not giving me as much money. Let me act a fool in the middle of you counting it. Anyway, health. Health is getting 20. So, um, we have 125. We did use some money from health this month. So, that should give us 145. Um, health 20. Okay. So, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And he says hi. <laughs> After all of that. Okay, Amazon Prime is getting $10 and... There should be 40 in here now, bringing us to 50. So 20, 40, and 50. Utilities is not getting anything. We actually pulled money out of utilities. Um, to cover, this is like the larger month. Every other month, the utility bill is larger. So I put aside some and then I pull some. Um, Black Friday is getting 50. And there is 325 in here now. So that should bring us to 375. One hundred twenty, forty, sixty, eighty two, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty three, twenty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, one, two, three, four, five. So three seventy five for Black Friday. going to start adding, I'm going to get another envelope at some point, but I'm going to start adding money to my birthday fund. Um, usually I don't start until January, but um, why not start funding it again early? So we're going to add $10 and um, go from there. Get a head start on next year. So birthday gets ten dollars and um, car fund so our car fund got wiped out this month with our we paid our car registration and then we had the battery issue and so that had to be replaced and so it was about four hundred and some odd dollars that was in my car fund between the envelope and the bank account. And we took it all the way down to zero. So we are starting over with our car fund. Um, and um, I want to get it built back up a little bit quicker. So um, the car fund is getting $50. Normally I do about 20 which really isn't a lot. Um, but it covered my car expenses, so I'm, I'm good, but I do want to get it back, built back up, so $50 going into the car fund. All right, and then I have a tax and emergency fund envelope. We're not going to worry about those. Oh, I am going to, I don't have an envelope for it yet. I need to make one, but I am going to start a little fun called the phone fund but you know I think I think I'm gonna rename it um I'm gonna call it the phone slash iPad fund 
I have an iPad, but it is really old, and I rarely use it. Um, but I would like one to use to, like, start using, like, Procreate and working on, um, Canva and stickers and different things from an iPad. So, for now, uh, we're going to put $10 in there for that little fund. And we'll see. We'll see what we can whip up maybe Black Friday. I definitely don't need a phone because I just got a phone. Um, but I was thinking of saving for the next phone because why are phones $5 million? I think I already had this rant, so I won't have it again. But like, why are phones $5 million? Like, it doesn't make any sense. I got an iPhone 12 because a 13 was like $1,500 or something. I don't know. It was ridiculous, but I got an iPhone 12 for two, I think 233, which even that I felt like was ridiculous. But anyway, okay. So now to our little variable expenses. So we're going to do um, $80 for gas because we have, well, I think $56. Yeah, we have $56 left over from July. Um, so we're going to do 80 for gas. So there's that. And I'm going to put that in here. This is like my little overflow for these variable. Um categories because I don't want to carry around a huge amount of money. So we're just going to put this 80 here. 20, 40, 60, 80. And then household is getting $20. wallet all right and eating out is getting eighty dollars and that is like in my head I'm calculating it that is like nine trips to get Agua's Frescuas. Because that's basically what I'm using my eating out budget on. Anyway. Um, okay, so for eating out. I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eating out is getting $80. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so there's 80 for our eating out, which I am again going to put over here in my little overflow wallet. groceries and groceries is getting two hundred and sixty dollars so this adds up 20 40 60 80 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 260, and 
Maybe you balance because we counted everything at the beginning. It was 8.01. And so every category has been stuffed. And our 8.01 has a home. So that is this month's cash envelopes. If you are new here, I am paid once per month for my primary employer. And so I um, like to stuff all my cash envelopes to make sure I have enough money for specific things um, throughout the entire month, just in case I don't see any more income the rest of the month. I don't want it to all be gone when I need groceries or gas or something like that at the end of the month. And also um, certain categories, which you saw here, I like to do in cash and save for an, uh, what's traditionally thought of as like a sinking fund for a more longer term expense. Interesting, looking at um, this cash envelope, this is like an overflow envelope. So I um, hadn't been keeping track on here. So the last time I did it was September of last year and I was doing 160 for groceries. Hello. We've added a whole hundred dollars over the last year of grocery prices. Anyway, fun fact for you. Let me know if you use cash envelopes and how often you stuff them. If you stuff them every paycheck um, or a different, um, frequency. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.